You are listening to The Off Switch. How to run your business so it doesn't run you. Written by Sarah Greener and narrated by Sarah Greener too. Chapter 9. Step 5. Plan 365. Let's plan for the next 365 days. By now, assuming you've done the work, and if you haven't done the work, go back and start at the beginning and do the work. You have the following parts of the process. The story that is driving you to spend your time wisely. Clarity on what your highest life priorities that you want to align with and the vision for each highest life priority in 10 years from now. A reverse engineered list of milestones you need to accomplish in the next 365 days. To achieve anything deliberately, we need to have a plan. If we looked at the 10-year vision, it would be overwhelming. And when we break it down year by year, highest priority first. Look at it like dominoes. We knock over the first one and everything else will fall into place. What we do is we take a big annual calendar. It doesn't matter where you are in the calendar. You'll start at the exact point you're at now and begin to break it down. The annual plan also doesn't just help you. It helps your team, your kids, your partner. It's a brilliant visual for all. You need the following things. One, big wall planner. A1 or A2 size for at least the next 12 months. If you're doing this partway through the year, then grab one for this year and next. Colored pens. I found my daughter's gel pens to be the best. Highlighters, colored post-it notes, your list of 12-month milestones, the highest life priority pages you created to remind you of what and why this is key, and a big table or flat space on the floor to work on. Sit down and fill in these things in the following order. It'll be easiest if you've grabbed my calendar. First, in pen, mark out everything that will not change for any reason. Looking at a blank calendar can feel daunting. So let's start working through this step by step so you don't descend into overwhelm. Mark out all the school holidays. If that impacts your life or business, mark out all the public holidays. Mark out any important dates, birthdays, anniversaries. Mark out already booked trips or holidays. If you've booked and paid, then do this in pen. Post it if it's just a plan. Mark out any business events that are already locked in. Mark out anything else you've already committed to and want to stay committed to based on the decisions you've made through this book. Second, mark out your milestones from the list. I find it useful to break them down into monthly or quarterly blocks. If you've printed out my calendar, you'll see there's a grid down the left-hand side to break down your milestones under the highest life priorities. Plus, a space to call out and highlight your highest life priorities across the top of the calendar. Fill them in too. Remember, repetition of what you want helps your subconscious mind to support you to take the right actions. If you're a self-sacrificer or a people pleaser, I want you to challenge yourself to put yourself into the wall planner first. I know that feels awkward and uncomfortable to you, but it will get you the best results. Don't feel like you have to fill up every day. Taking back control of your life and your business is about doing less, not more. We're just going to do the right things, not all the things. From here, you can start to use the post-it notes to plan where you'll take action to achieve these goals. This gives you the flexibility to change when you're going to do it if you need to. Remember, just to place on your annual calendar things that will take up most of a day. The next step in the process is where we plan on a weekly level and that will be the more detailed view. Plan 365 is about giving you a color-coded, yes, I'm that crazy about my planning. You don't have to be, but it helps to see where you're at with a quick glance. Visual that will highlight all your highest life priorities and how you're tracking towards those all-important milestones. Don't forget to check in with the important people in your life so you can be sure your calendars align. They don't have to be in perfect sync, but there will be some things you want to make sure you don't have a clash. Before I started using this process, there were many things that Johnny and I wanted to do together, but ended up doing alone because of calendar clashes. Like his first trail half marathon was on the same day as my first Muay Thai match. Removing those challenges will create ease in your life and in your relationships. Once you're finished, get it up on the wall. Remember, your plan is a living document. You can change and adjust it as your life does. Add in new events as they get booked or lock in plane trips once you've booked the flights. When an opportunity comes up, you'll be able to see at a glance when you have time to do it or what you will need to move and say no to to allow yourself the time to take it. Hi, Sarah here. Just wanted to say, stoked that you are learning this knowledge to ensure that you get to blend your business and your life together in the way that you want. And learning stuff is good. Using stuff is better. If you want to start using the knowledge that you got today, 
as quickly as possible, I want to give you a little bit of hands-on help. Head on down into the show notes. There's a link there for my calendar. You can get some one-on-one time with me so we can work on your business and your life and get it working just the way you want it now. I look forward to seeing you on that call and giving you the help to implement what you've heard here today into your business as simply as possible. Until then, stay moxie.